In this video, I'm going to be showing all the meals that I had Monday through Friday for lunch. It's meals like these that have helped me lose over 21 pounds in 2020. So let's start the video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Lee. I'm going to show you what I made for lunch every day, Monday through Friday. And I'm really excited about this video because it gives you a glimpse to see the type of foods I ate that I lost 21 pounds in 2020 and how I'm still losing my remainder nine pounds now. So these foods are delicious and they're easy and I'm excited to show you exactly what I made Monday through Friday for work meal prep. Also, stay to the end of the video because I have a surprise that you're not gonna wanna miss. On Monday, I had to bring the food with me, so I'm standing at a window at my job and it's the leftovers with rice underneath. And I'm also showing an apple that I had as a snack. For lunch today, Tuesday, I decided to make this. So this is how it looks. There's four cakes, they're called cakes. The serve, it says the serving size is half a piece. Okay, that's how it looks. They are crazy. Sometimes you wanna have something and I've wanted to try this for a long time. So I'm just gonna let this cook. Look what happened to my Instant Pot because I left it on my hot stove top. See those little circles? Those heat up and that's what happened. This is from my meal prep video. I ate Monday and Tuesday from that meal prep for lunch. I just wanted to show this because these people are crazy. This is considered two servings. Half of this is one serving. They are insane. This is Tuesday's lunch and I think it came out great. I have the meal prepped stir fry, the mango stir fry and the pico de gallo beans, as well as the noodles that I just made. And I decided to put some added nutrition with these cherry tomatoes and it looks really delicious. I don't know about some people, but I'm having a hard time finishing this, <laughs> just saying. But I have to work until, well, but I have to work a couple of hours, so I'm gonna finish it, just get it all in, because I don't wanna be hungry later. This is my Gobi Manchurian sauce. It's a sweet and tangy sauce with peppers and celery. That's the traditional way, and I did add some onions today, and I have made this a couple of times. People have made this from Instagram and YouTube, and they like it a lot, so definitely check it out. The link will be in the description. This is my Gobi Manchurian. It is cauliflower breaded with oats, oat flour. And this is pretty filling by itself. Last time I paired it with some vegetables and I was so stuffed. So I'm just eating the cauliflower by itself. I got some other vegetables mixed in and it's breaded with the oats. So it should be filling. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video so far. Just to let you know, you can subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I love to do videos like this, meal prep, what I ate in a day, just different videos that can help you with your journey as well. And I have an Instagram page, a TikTok, so I'll put the link below. And I also have a page on Facebook called Starch With Plants starts with plants friends and i'm excited to share that because it's a place where you can talk get to know people get advice and just get support so if you're not subscribed or following any of those things please do so i'll have links below so for lunch today i am making some jasmine rice in the instant pot this is my leftover pico de gallo over here i have some cauliflower rice it wouldn't be a video if i didn't use cauliflower rice and I seasoned it with some taco mix, lime juice, a tiny bit of garlic salt and vegetable stock. And I have my leftover beans. So you're gonna see how I am assembling that soon. And I've also made some tortilla chips in the air fryer. First, I added the rice from the Instant Pot. Next, I've added the reheated beans. Next, I have the cauliflower rice. Next, I'm adding the pico de gallo. my burrito bowl for today and i'm on a time constraint i did this in about 
a little bit over an hour. I do have to rush to work, so I'm pretty proud that I was able to put this together. This is my burrito bowl for today. I'm excited to eat it. I think it looks amazing. I've added these chips on the side, and I think this will be a really good and filling lunch. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick recipe. For lunch today, I'm having cauliflower and potato hash browns and a side of broccoli. So this is the cauliflower rice. It's mixed with kale and sweet potato. So as you can see, there's not a lot of sweet potato. And cauliflower is a vegetable. And this is some leftover hash browns that I have. So I'm gonna add that. Add all of that, why not? And you are just going to let this steam. And I love adding things that I find in my fridge. I have some red onions, so I'm just gonna add that as well. All right, so I put this on high because I am really hungry and I think it's pretty much done. It's only been a couple of minutes. I'm now adding this to the pan so I can season it and you'll see that in a minute. Okay, so. I use the same container to put the broccoli in. First, I'm seasoning with garlic salt. Next is onion powder. Then I'm adding garlic powder. And some parsley. And finally, using smoked paprika. And I'm just making sure it's mixed to get all the spices together. Now you're gonna see me form it. I like to put it in my palm like this and just make sure that everything is together, nothing is sticking out. And plop, there it is on the air fryer sheet. And then I'm quickly just showing the rest. If you have more room, you can put more, but I didn't have that much room. This is going in the air fryer for about 15, 20 minutes. So this is how they look before I turn them. They look delicious. I had to do 10 minutes. First I did 350 and then I turned it up to 400. You're just gonna have to play around with your settings on your air fryer until they get nice and crispy. So I'm gonna turn them and the next thing you'll see is how I plate them. Here's the final product for my Friday lunch. I have the potato and cauliflower hash browns. They look so good. Fresh steamed broccoli and my homemade ketchup. I do have a video on that. If you'd like to watch it, I'll link it in the description. So good. So for those people who stayed to the end of the video, I wanted to do something special. Um, my channel has grown more these last couple of months and I just wanted to give a little prize away to someone that has helped. A lot of people watch the videos straight through, they comment, they like them, and I'm very thankful for that. So it's not, this is not gonna be an announced giveaway, but I'm giving away $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is you're just going to comment below, comment if you like anything about this video, whatever, but I want you to comment, um, I want you to comment. I want you to comment. I want you to comment what book, what book would you like to see me give away? Because this giveaway is the $25 gift card, but I'm doing a second giveaway where I'm giving away a book to someone. That's, that will be next week or whatever or two weeks from now. So this giveaway, $25 gift card, next giveaway will be um, a book. If you, wanna, if you wanna see, if you think a good book would be um, Stark Solution, I think the title is How Not to Die, whatever. Whatever the different books are that you would think someone would love, comment below. And that's all. If you want to share this video with your friends, someone that you know, that's fine. I don't care about that. But I just want to keep this giveaway to people that have been watching me for a while and have enjoyed this content. So thank you for watching this video. Comment below and um, share it with friends. Remember, I have an Instagram and a Facebook and have a great day.